Hi, so far we have been talking about several sorting algorithms bubble sort, selection sort, insertion sort, merge sort, quick sort. And in this lecture, I would like to tell you a few words about hybrid algorithms such as intro sort and theme sort. So, let's get started. Basically, what are hybrid algorithms? It combines more algorithms to solve a given problem. It chooses one algorithm depending on the data or switching between them over the course of the algorithm. This is generally done to combine desired features of each so that the overall algorithm is better than the individual components. We have been talking about other sorting algorithms and we have come to the conclusion that there are several advantages as well as disadvantages for all of these algorithms. So maybe we are able to combine the advantages of all of these algorithms into a so-called hybrid one. So it's important that hybrid algorithm doesn't refer to simply combining multiple algorithms to solve a different problem, but only to combining algorithms that solve the same problem. So for example, of course, it's pretty straightforward that we can combine sorting algorithms. Okay, so all of these algorithms solve the same problem, how to sort a given one-dimensional array of integers, for example, but differ in other characteristics such as performance. For example, insertion sort or selection sort have the running time ordo n squared, so quadratic running time, while merge sort and quick sort have linear rhythmic running time ordo n log n. So they solve the same problem. All of these algorithms can be used to sort a one-dimensional array of integers, for example, but other characteristics can differ, such as the running time. Okay, the technique can be used when sorting, for example, of course. So, we have, for example, heap sort. We haven't considered heap sort in this given lecture, in this given course, because you have to know something about data structures and tree like structures. So, if you are interested in heap sort, I suggest taking a look at the algorithms and data structures part one. So, this heap sort has an advantage of a guaranteed running time ordo n log n. No matter what, it's going to be the running time. Best case running time, average case running time, and worst case running time, all of them are ordo and log n. We have the quick sort. The optimal implementations are outperform both merge sort and heap sort, so quick sort is said to be the best known sorting algorithm in the main. But quick sort can have quadratic running time when we keep choosing bad pivo items. So this is what I have been talking about, that there are several disadvantages for several sorting algorithms. So the solution is let's try to combine the two algorithms, heap sort and quick sort. And this is basically the intro sort. It's also known as introspective sort. It is a hybrid sorting algorithm that provides both fast average performance and optimal worst case performance. It begins with a quick sort and switches to heap sort when quick sort becomes too slow. So we get intro sort if we combine quick sort with heap sort. This is why it is a hybrid algorithm, because we are combining two sorting algorithms, quick sort and heap sort. Okay. Then we have been talking about insertion sort. Insertion sort is very efficient on small data sets, 10 to 20 items, but especially efficient when we have 5 to 10 items or 5 to 10 elements. So merge sort and quick sort on the other hand, asymptotically optimal on large data sets, but the overhead becomes significant if applying them to small data sets. If we want to sort, for example, five items, then because of the recursive method calls, merge sort or quick sort will be slower than insertion sort. So the idea again, let's combine the two algorithms, insertion sort and merge sort or quick sort. And we end up with a highly optimized hybrid algorithm, the so-called theme sort. So if we combine insertion sort with merge sort, we get team sort. Okay. So it combines merge sort and insertion sort, 
It is a stable sorting algorithm. It was implemented by Tim Peters in 2002 for using the Python programming language. The best case running time is linear. The worst case running time is ordo and log n, but if you may recall, the running time for merge sort is ordo and log n, so linear rhythmic. And the worst case space complexity is ordo n because of the merge sort, so it is not going to be an in-place sorting algorithm. We definitely need some extra memory, but on the other hand, we can achieve ordo n linear time complexity. Why? because we have managed to combine two sorting algorithms in order to end up with a better one. So that's all about hybrid algorithms, intro sort and team sort. Thanks for watching.